and welcome to Tiff TV for some fast. Oh, your GPS detective. Sorry, I interrupted my flow there. The cameras oh, were talking to me. <laughs> welcome to Tiff TV for some fast apps with Frax and a BMW M4 with. Simon. Hello, Simon. Garcia. Police, have you just come down for the wild ride? Have you been driving on the track today? No, a friend's got there. Wild no, your, your friend's he's driving. Right, he's got he's done that, and we were kind of stood there going, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yes, what other chance have, so got, got, uh, have you been on race tracks before? Yes, yeah, uh, Castle Coop. Oh, that's lovely. It's a bit like Traxton, really, but not quite as fast. I no, just press my little memory button and get my settings up. Instant throttle, instant gear change, traction control off. And yeah, like Castle Coop, it's an old fashioned track with flowing curves interrupted by a couple of tight technical sections the first bit is complex but we didn't want to use all the road in the first two bits we want to open out the last bit but we don't end up on the grass as we then launch this series of high speed corners that makes Truxton so unusual nowadays a series of bends where we're trying to stay at over 100 miles an hour as we pick out this magical racing line we teach the racing line in any corner is just to use as little lock as possible and stay on the road. You let the car run to the very edge as we build momentum down towards the fastest corner, Church Corner. Now we've got to touch the brakes to make sure we can get that apex and then fire it onto the straight as quick as we can. Yes. In fifth gear, of course. <laughs> yeah. we've, we've got <laughs> seven gears. We don't use top gear, top is rubbish. There's no fifth gear. Yeah. 147 miles an hour before we break this tight chicane at the end of the lap. Another right, left, right. We're getting a little bit slimers on the way. Catch the first by pulling it the other way. A little bit of dread coming off that back down. It's overheating. <laughs> but on to another lap. It's cracking. This lovely three litre twin turbo growling away. It's a completely standard name, of course, throughout the showroom, standard Pirelli tyres, but even the best tyres have their limits. But it's a combination inspires confidence. Like a flick in the air, getting a bit sideways. Spin up the wheels, flick it the other way, and a big drift on. That little bit of tread begins to flick off the rear when they overheat the tyres. but amazingly, Formula One has just, just outgrew tracks like this because they full front around here, they've got so much grip, yeah. they wouldn't lift off at all. So the only test around here would be their neck muscles rather than their driving skills. So when Damon Hill said the fastest ever lap time, he came down here to church at 170 miles an hour, didn't break, didn't even lift off, it stayed full throttle and slammed through here at 100. 70 miles an hour. So he went on to average 147 average. They just got so much. Worked out he could do three laps in time it takes me to two. Down the fourth, down the third, dropped about 70 miles an hour, flicking in again. Drifting. Big summer, flicking the other way. Got it. <laughs> the little fact, the rear tires now falling apart over me. <laughs> After two laps of driving like Lewis Hamilton, we've overheated the tyres, now we've got to drive the last lap, more like Jensen Bucks, but the tyres have come, but that rear left is dead. Yeah. We might survive a couple more trips. It's just rumbling in the jungle. So now trying to turn in the middle, let the grass go the grid. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, 
trying to do it. Where's the bar? Cold spot! Cold spot! Thank you! <laughs> Get me quick bit bits of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overheating. They're the best tires, but they're not designed to be spun up all day long. There's Spud Junior. Happy Christmas, everyone! <laughs> hey!